Hello and welcome back everyone. In the last episode, we completed Recipe for Disaster and got the Barrow's Gloves, meaning that we are one step closer to taking on the Fight Caves. In this one, we're going to be working towards getting more of the gear that I need, so let's just get started. I need money. This is both for me, the person, and my character, but let's focus on the game right now. I need a lot of money in order to get some of this gear. I could attempt to get a drop or something like that, but with my current gear and the timetable that I've set for myself, that isn't very feasible. So I need to make as much money as I can as fast as I can. There's going to be a few different methods and tests to see what works best for me personally. We start where I think everyone would have guessed, and that's Barrows. I do a bunch of runs and I get myself an Aram's Hood. That's cool. Why couldn't you have been the robes? Or the pant like the 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 cloak or something. If that were the robes or the pants, I would have pretty much been done. But I guess I can't complain too much. A drop is a drop. But my luck at Barrows didn't really seem to improve much as I'm still going dry for the most part and my kills aren't the fastest. So this method started to take a toll on my mental. That's when I decided to take a break and work on some Slayer. With some of the consistent money makers out there, I thought this was a pretty good idea to go for. I also unlocked Bigger and Batter and I was hoping for some decent payouts with that. And that's pretty much what I got. I did get to fight two of the bigger and badder Bloodvelds, and I was truly appalled by what they looked like. Oh my fucking god, who made this thing? I hate it. I hate it. After getting Bloodvelds and Black Demons mostly, I chose to swap once again, and this time I did some clue scrolls. I know that these aren't the best in terms of making GP, but I like doing them, and that's where this sentence ends. From the first one, I didn't get much good, but I did manage to get a nice little black beret worth around 23,000, so I'll take that to the bank every single day. Looking through my inventory, I knew it was time that I needed to sell as much as I could. So going through, I clear out most of my herbs, my seeds, some gear, just to clear some room, but also to make me some money. Around 1.6 mil, which is pretty good. And as it turns out, that is just enough to buy me my god dehyde armor. I chose to go with Gothics because it is the cheapest, simple enough. And when I tell you how many times I check to make sure that all these gear have the same exact stats, tons. I did it so many times, I was so paranoid. I know that the wiki is full of great information and I'm not doubting it, but I'm doubting my own capability to read. And that's let me down on more than one occasion. But being like 85% sure, I go ahead and buy myself the full gear, minus the bracers because I got those nice Barrows gloves earlier. With the new gear taken care of, I still need around 3 or so mil GP to get myself a blowpipe. That's probably the most important piece of gear that I can get at this point. Wanting to do anything but Barrows, I look up online and see what bosses I'm able to kill. The list is pretty short as you might expect, but it boils down to the Giant Mole, Serachnus, Barrows, King Black Dragon, and the Dagonoth Kings. As I said before, I'm tired of Barrows, so that one's going to be a no-go for right now. The Dagonoth Kings are apparently a super big pain in the ass to get to, and the King Black Dragon is in the wilderness, and with this new gear that I just bought, I'm not going to risk that. So I'm left with the Giant Mole and Serachnus. Depending on the amount of kills I can get per hour with both of these, they can be pretty profitable. The only problem is my gear. The recommended gear for both of these bosses is a little outside of what I have currently. For the mole, it's recommended to use full Darox and pray melee while at 1 HP to blast this dude into the fucking sun. As you may know, my Barrow's luck hasn't seemed fit to give me any pieces of Darox, let alone a full set. My kills aren't going to be breaking any kinds of records anytime soon. So instead I put on my strongest gear, being the new Guthix gear, and I head over to Thalador Park. I search these holes to find an empty one, and the hunt is on. Oh, 
Okay, cool. We got the fur and we got the claws. That wasn't very hard, which is cool, but that's also not a ton of money. And yes, as you may have seen, I do not have the Falador Hard Diary done. And that's a huge part of what makes this fight as profitable as it can be. After this kill, I was leaning away from the giant mole to begin with, and then a guy in full Darox comes into my hole. Jesus Christ. And nearly one-shots the mole that I was working on, stealing all the credit. So, yeah. Let's move on. Next, we're going to try to take on the spider. Seracnus is weakest to crush, so I invest in a dragon mace and head on over there. I went into this fight with as little information as I could. I was told that it swaps from range to melee, so I need to pray accordingly to that, and then it has adds. Other than that, I went in blind. For my first run, my footage fully broke, but this little reenactment will show just how well it went. Bad. It went very poorly. I died very quickly. But I did learn that when it says hiss, that I need to pray range. So, information was gained. Okay, round two. This time, my attempt was pretty solid if I do say so myself. I was able to get to the ad phase and chose to ignore them and focus on the boss. I think that was a mistake in hindsight, but we live and we learn. I end up dying again, but I feel like I'm getting a little closer here. Never mind, I lied. The next two runs go pretty poorly, so I decide to shake things up. I noticed that one of the adds was shooting what looked like a magic attack, and since I'm in full plate, I just kept getting hit over and over and over again. So, it's time for Guthix to come to the rescue once again. I also decide to extend my kill time by taking out the adds entirely, because at this point, I'd rather get a kill than another death. But unfortunately, I still do get another death because I think I turned my prayer off or something. I don't exactly know what happens here, but it wasn't pretty regardless. Before going into this bossing section, my friend suggested that maybe I could try Zolra and get my own blowpipe as a drop that way. But let me tell you, after fighting these much easier bosses, there's no way in hell that I'd be taking that on right now. Maybe in the future, but for right now, this spider is in my way. With some determination and luck, I am finally able to take her down and I get... Eight potatoes. So barrows anyone? With one last idea for a boss, I make my way to the farming guild and kill myself a Hispori. This thing looks so fucking cool. I know this boss won't give me a huge payout, but I thought I might as well put it in this section because I'm covering all the bossing I've done so far and it seemed to fit. It goes down with relative ease and I get myself mm, a nice 1200 GP. Yeah, that's not really going to cut it. Back to barrows I go. I looked into completing the Mauritania Hard Diary, but um, getting 70 Prayer, 50 Construction, and 71 Agility, that's not really something I could commit to right now. So we just have to go in there like we always do, kill the brothers over and over and over again. They really don't want to give up their items for me, but I'm getting consistent runes, which I suppose works. To put it into perspective how badly I didn't want to do barrows for this video, I gathered fucking king worms for like two hours and I made like 300k, which is respectable. I was scrounging out here trying to find any sort of money making method that I could reasonably do. After both a few hours of worms and barrows, I finally hit 3 mil cash and I buy myself a fang. Because at the time of recording, it was cheaper to buy myself a fang rather than a pipe. And with the level being achieved with boosting through a pie, we now have ourselves a toxic blowpipe. Now all that's left is to get the necklace. Ideally, I get a fury. But that's another 2 mil that I need to get. So we either need to get lucky at a barrel's drop or find some substitute. So I look for a substitute. You understand how this goes. My search history was nothing but... Old school runescape money makers, fast money makers, low requirement money makers, and everything in between. I even considered crashing Necrols since I saw that on the Gilinor games. But that felt a little scummy, so I didn't end up going for it. I ended up selling apples from the Culinaromancer's chest. I bought bagged plants from the farming guild, arrow tips from the ranging guild. Anything that I could find that could give me some fast GP, I felt like I tried. I'm going to need this fury and I need to figure out a way to get it. And how am I going to do that, you might ask? Frog legs. Oh yeah, you heard right. Motherfucking frog legs. Well, technically Swamp Toad legs, but you get the idea. These bad boys are worth around 600 GP each, so I collected a lot of them. And I mean a fucking lot of them. While I was just watching TV and on my phone, I gathered a bunch. And then I ripped off their legs for my own profit. Jesus Christ, that's dark. 
But that GP is pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. With these frogs, I built myself an empire and I sunk that capital into a fury. Hell yeah, that's pretty nice. Last and pretty much least is the ring. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get the archer's ring. I'm not going to be able to collect another 4 million GP and imbue it. So I have a few different options. One being the Lubbridge Diary rings or what I'm leaning towards, which is the Granite Ring, which is just a defense ring. It's cheap, so we're going to get both and see what works best for me. There are the diaries done, giving me the ring, and I bought a Granite Ring. I don't know if I'm going to imbue it. Probably not, but well, we'll see. All right, and I think that is where we are going to end. We have the gears and we have the stats. All that's left is to throw myself into the fight caves. Depending on how long it takes me to clear that, the next video might be slightly delayed. But I am sure that it'll be worth it. So, until next time, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the season finale. Goodbye.